Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's story is going to be about how you can help your family uh, for not a lot of money. Um, I've lived in Thailand now for eight years and I've been married for two, but I've been with my partner now for four years. So during the four years of being together, my wife has a house up at the farm where she used to live in Karat and a family live next door and a family are farmers so they take care of the farm that's up there. So I'm lucky because I live by the coast and my wife's got a lovely house up in the countryside so we spend our time in between the country and the coast. So I have a good life and retired and living the dream and I've got to say yeah I am living the dream because life so simple here I've just spent three weeks up at my wife's farm and every time we go up there I do a little bit to the house um, because obviously that keeps me occupied as well and I'm going to show you some photographs of the of the things that we've done to the house uh, over the past four years and how we've helped my wife's family um, the moral of the story is it, it doesn't cost a lot to be able to change somebody's life. Uh, my wife has a, has a lovely house, as I say, up, up in her village, and but every time we go there, I just make it a little bit more comfortable every time. And this time that we've been, we've plasterboarded the ceiling in the kitchen and the, and the bathroom and the toilet, and I put some nice lights in, and so we've dry-lined the ceiling, and it's ready for painting now, and we blocked the wall up between the, the bathroom and the toilet and we've plasterboarded the ceiling in the kitchen and then we've took an old sink out from the, from the bathroom and we're going to put a, a shower in the next time we go up. Um, all a lot, not a lot of money. I so said we insulated the house the whole house and that just makes the house a lot more comfortable to live in. So we, we've been there for three weeks so there's no hotel costs to pay, no nothing. So if you imagine again, some people will say, oh you're spending money, you're, you're daft for doing things like that. I'm married to a Thai person. If I was married to an English, American, Australian or whatever and I had a house or, we had, or they had a house, I'd still spend money on the house, renovating it, doing it. It's just what I do. and it, keeps me occupied and I enjoy doing it. And the other things that we've done to the house over the four years that we've been together, um, again, have a look at the photographs. We, we put a new 2,000 litre water tank in because village water supply was going on and off all the time. So by having a constant supply of water, any time you wanted to have a shower, you, you were not restricted. So 2,000 litre water tank and a new water pump and we plumbed that in, so that's working all the time now. And the car, because we didn't have any shade for the car to, to park under, the car was just red hot every single day. So we put the lean-to on the side of the house, and that's big enough to, to park at least a couple of cars underneath. Again, 20,000 baht that cost to put the lean-to of the house. It just makes the car a lot more comfortable every time you get into it. It isn't roasting or boiling hot and it isn't baked in the sun all day. And the other thing, we put a lake um, at the back of my wife's house. They've got 14 rye of um, fields that they, they plant their own rice. And we, we paid for a lake to be put there because some of the crops needs water and water is gold dust up in up in Isan area. So we, we paid 40,000 baht to dig the lake there. So he has a constant water supply all year. He's got another lake at the far end of the field, um, which, so, so now he's got two lakes. But also, by giving him a lake, he can grow more water-dependent crops, which he can get more money for. He can put fish in the lake so he's, he's got fish that he can eat and he's got fish that he can sell. So by spending a little bit of money, you can improve somebody's life because now they have fish that they can eat every day. They have water so they can grow tomato plants that 
that, that was the crop that he grew and he did very, very well out of that. And this year what we did was he's got a, a bigger farm, more area, more acreages, about 10 minutes drive away from the house. So and he, we've seen how successful he was with the, the crops that he grew near the house. So we just, for a small amount of money, and the small amount of money was 30,000 baht, we built another big lake on his land. It was almost one rye. It's 34 metres by 32 metres and five metres deep. So almost half a million litres of water he's got there. And again, some photographs, we can show you that, the, the digger, that it, it took four days to dig the lake. And they spread the soil out. And now they're growing crops near the lake, which is more dependent on water, which is a more high value crop. And also he's, he's gonna stock that lake with fish also. So for 30,000 baht, that will repay itself within four or five years if he had to pay for it, but of course they didn't have the money to pay for it, so we bought it because every time we go to their house, they're more than welcome and they make me feel at home there and we have a good life there. Um, so for 30,000 baht, that's the cost of a new TV. Cost of a new TV, that's all it is, but it's where it comes down to. But that the returns that they'll get on that They'll get the fish, they'll get the high yields on the crops because they've got the water supply there. It's just win-win situation. They were happy with that, I was happy with that. And my wife's dad, he's, he's, a, good, he's a good builder and he's a good farmer. And he, he, he's just done all sorts of things. He used to have cows and now that they got rid of the cows because he had gout. So now he has more free time, and now that they've got the water supply, he looks into other crops that he can grow, so he can sell. And the quality of the, of the fruit and vegetables that he grows is second to none. So all the people want to buy his fruit and his vegetables. So now, most days, everything's grown to order. So he doesn't have to go to the markets, he doesn't have to sell to anybody else one person who supplies everybody else and he buys everything off of my wife's dad because the quality of the the fruit and vegetables like grading of the tomatoes is grade one grade two grade three and he grades them properly some of the other farmers there sneak half a dozen grade four tomatoes within within the box or something like that just cheating and but my wife's dad never does that. Every, every he grades the tomatoes himself and none of them get slipped by so he doesn't put inferior quality tomatoes in with, with good tomatoes. So he's trusted. So therefore, his quality of his, of his crops are very, very good. And no doubt, now he's got the water, he'll do the same thing again with, with the fact that he can grow better quality crops because he's got an abundance amount of water now as well. We, have to put, we offered to put a borehole in for him and his explanations about the borehole is that he can't see how much water he's got, how deep you go, how deep do you need to go before you get to the water table, whereas with a lake you can see how much water you've got and at least you can put the fish in the lake as well, so it's double bubble, so they win all the time. So. These are the type of things that I do every time we go to the wife's farm. I do a little bit of work at their house. Family is the number one in Thailand. Family values are fantastic. And I wish every country had the same values as, as families as they do in Thailand. It's a very close-knit community, village life. I love it up there. And maybe one day I'll move up there, you know, for good. Uh, father-in-law said to me I can have some land to do what, what, whatever I choose. I do a little hydroponics here, I do a little bit of fruit and vegetable growing here. But I'd miss the co coast if I moved away from the coast. But I'd save money, I would, I'd live there rent free. I do a video on living on 35,000 baht a month and I'd do another video on 50,000 baht a month. Surely if I moved up to 
my wife's farm, we could easily live on 30, 35,000 baht every month, no problem whatsoever. So, not all Thai girls are poor, not all Thai families are poor. You've just got to be picky as to who you want to be with and don't worry about spending a little bit of money because a little bit of money here goes a long, long way and you can do so much good with spending the money. I've done another video doing the right thing, but it went wrong, so it ended up being a bad thing. Please watch that as well. Um, in fact, watch all of my videos. And if you like my videos, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down and leave your comments down below. Subscribe, it'd be nice. And until the next time, from Les, retired and living the dream, bye for now.